Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we will start with talking about our Indie Pro 2022 winner Blessing of Oribu, who has just done a podcast with Fuad Abiyad, and I gotta say, guys, I mean, Fuad Abiyad has done so much great for this sport, you can like him or dislike him, you can say that he's a bad person or whatever, but for this sport, for me personally, he has done more than pretty much anybody in the past, I don't know, 20, 30 years. Honestly, without exaggerating, for me personally, I would say Joe Vider, Arnold and then Fuad. There are probably other people, many other people like, for example, I don't know, Jim Mannion, who are responsible for growing this sport, but getting to really know what bodybuilders are like, nobody is more responsible for that than Fuad. I have become a big fan of so many bodybuilders and other people from the industry because of Fua and his podcast. And the same thing happened with Blessing of Oribu. So Blessing on his social media, he's this funny guy who is making funny videos and who is always flashy and cocky, uh, who is always in some kind of a role, who's always acting and pretending to be something. We never really knew who he is as a person, where did he come from? We didn't know anything about this guy until now. So, guys, if you haven't already, I encourage you strongly to go and watch that video. You will realize who Blessing of Oribu actually is. You will find out that, for example, he escaped extreme poverty in Africa. He migrated to Ireland, then to, obviously, America. He opens up, he gets emotional. I've just become a fan of Blessing of Oribu. I wasn't before. I didn't really like him as a person. Now I like him. I respect him now a lot, I didn't know anything about him before, but now I know that he's a good person, he talked about his family, where he came from, everything like that, so guys, watch the video, watch the podcast, you're gonna learn so much about Blessing, and you'll find out that he's actually a great guy, and uh, this was the interesting part of this, of this interview, of this podcast, that I uh, had to share with you guys, so basically Blessing was emotional, he actually got emotional when he started talking about his sponsorship by Redcon 1, and the about uh, Aaron Singerman, who is right now in prison, so he was really grateful when he got that opportunity to move to the US to actually work for Redcon 1, but six weeks out, he got fired from Redcon 1. Why? Well, it wasn't Aaron who fired him. As you guys know, Aaron is in jail currently, serving a sentence, I think, three or five years, something like that, so he's not gonna be out anytime soon, and Redcon 1 is taking another direction. They are not gonna be bodybuilding focused anymore, and they had to fire guys like Blessing of Oribu. And Blessing took this very hard, and when he talked about this, he started crying, you know, he was very emotional. So let me play this part of the video for you. Six weeks out, I was fired from Recon 1. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it broke my heart. Did he fire you? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, he had already went away i mean Eric was not around you know yeah yeah so can i can i ask you did they give you a reason why you were letting go were letting you go or did <laughs> they just say we're changing because i heard that they're changing their entire style from bodybuilding to something yeah else. you know they, they're changing directions and you know i don't want to be asking any question you know i respect their decisions so yeah of course like, yeah i'm just wondering I, if they. I, I, I was very thankful for the opportunity and the time yeah so yeah, unfortunately, six weeks out of this indie pro, Blessing of Oribu was let go, it's uh, it's bad thing for him, he'll have to figure it out from now on, it is what it is, but he won this indie pro, and he's most likely going to win another show this week, New York Pro, which will be a huge title for him, and we're gonna see him on that Mr. Olympia stage later this year. So now, you guys tell me, what do you think, who's going to actually win that New York Pro, Blessing or somebody else? Let's check the list. And before we do that, before we check out the New York Pro official updated competitor list, we're gonna check out this product by the Old School Labs, it's called Vintage Blast, and guys, I'm telling you, the best pre-workout out there that I ever tried. I don't know if you're gonna enjoy it as much as I do, I really enjoyed the taste of it and the results that I get from it, it's not just caffeine based, it has a lot of pump and focus and endurance ingredients in it, so guys, if you wanna support my channel and myself, go ahead and try this product out, and if you wanna use a discount, 12% discount, use the code EVAN, or click the link down below in the description of this video, and after you absolutely destroy your workout, you tell me how you like it. Now, let's check out this New York Pro list, what do you see here? What is interesting about this list? Is this uh, Indie Pro list? No, this is New York Pro list, but it's just the same as Indie Pro. 
So I highlighted a couple of names, uh, which is basically the favorites to win this show. As you can see, I highlighted, of course, Blessing of Aribu, who won Indie Pro, and he's probably the favorite to win this show. I also highlighted Max Charles, who was third at Indie. And of course, I highlighted the fourth place finisher or last year's winner, Justin Rodriguez. And these three guys are probably my favorites to win this show. It's most likely going to be between Justin and Blessing. You're wondering, where is the second place finisher, the runner-up, Charles Griffin? Well, he's not doing this show. It was originally the plan, as far as I know, Charles Griffin was supposed to show up there, but apparently him and his coach, Matt Jensen, decided to give it a pass. So he says, next stop, Muscle Contest Cali Pro, California Pro. I decided to give my body a rest and not do New York Pro this weekend. Myself and Matt Jensen knew this was the best route for us to be our best and to do better than we were last weekend. So apparently he's skipping New York Pro, unfortunately. I would love to see him up there, maybe if he improved a little and Plastic faded a little, he would beat him and win the New York Pro title, which is a big title, which is probably like third biggest title, or at least it was back in the day, you know, it was usually Mr. Olympia, Arnold Classic, and then the Knight of Champions, or also known as New York Pro now, nowadays, uh, they changed the name, but that was the same show, so it was a huge title back in the day, now it's also a pretty big title, but Charles Griffin is not gonna go for it, his next show is Cali Pro. He either doesn't believe that he can win and beat Blessing, or he just doesn't care too much about the accolades, he just wants a qualification, an easier qualification for Mr. Olympia. Back to the list, as you can see, I blue-lined and red-lined two names. The, the blue-lined name is Amir Omeragic, I mean, he is already in New York, I've seen his stories. He is competing for sure, and this is uh, a wonderkind, I mean, this guy is really young. I believe 22 or 23 years old right now, something like that, which is absolutely insane, considering that his face looks like he's 35 and his body is just as big as any other 35-year-old. He has so much to improve on and he's going to be an amazing bodybuilder one day. Uh, this year he might crack the top 5, top 6 at this New York Pro, I don't know, but great addition. And I also redlined Peter Clanchir, and you probably guys heard about this guy, who is an absolute freak over here also, like Amir. Amir is from Montenegro, and Peter is from Croatia, but actually, as you can see, Amir is uh, from Germany, he has German citizenship, he lives there, but he is from Montenegro. Uh, Peter lives in Croatia, and he is from Croatia, and he is an absolute unit, but unfortunately, he is redlined for a reason, he is out of New York Pro as well. He was supposed to compete at Indy, but he had problems getting the visa, so he made this post and he says he's still waiting for that visa, so no, we're not gonna see him over there, if he's not there already, he probably won't be, if he wasn't certain if he's gonna be able to compete, he probably wouldn't start his peak week, and so yeah, unfortunately, we won't see him at this New York Pro, it would be a great addition, he's an amazing bodybuilder, unfortunately, no, no, he has to pass this one too, and his uh, prep is not stopping, he's gonna compete, apparently his next goal is San Diego, so we're gonna see him over there, hopefully, and I think this is probably the best thing for him, because based on what I'm seeing here in these stories, it looks like his conditioning could be a little bit better, and this was his issue before, especially his back, his skin uh, on his back looks a little bit thick, and I think he needs to, he needs a little bit more conditioning, so uh, I don't know if he would do very well if he showed up uh, the way he looks right now, uh, I don't know, maybe he would look great, maybe he would just dwarf everybody and look more complete and just more massive, because he does look like a monster, but a little bit more conditioning during the next couple of weeks, I don't think it's gonna hurt him, he's probably gonna look that much more freaky, we'll see though. But as far as the winner of the New York Pro, I personally would have Justin Rodriguez if he was at his best. Can he be at his best? Probably not. But you guys need to remember, this guy was 8 at the Mr. Olympia. He was pushing William freaking Bonek at his best here. He was able to beat Steve Kuklo and very good Samson Dauda. And even though Blessing has more aesthetics, he has a prettier shape, prettier genetics, I still think Justin is a better bodybuilder because he's more packed, he has more density, more maturity. Uh, yeah, I know, he has oil in his legs, in his shoulders probably, uh, very, very weak triceps, but I think he's just more dense 
uh, as a bodybuilder for current bodybuilding standards, I think he more he fits the criteria more. And if he brings his absolute best, I think he will win the New York Pro. But uh, the way things are looking, it's probably gonna be blessing though. We're gonna talk more about New York Pro in the next couple of days, but in five weeks. We're gonna watch Hassan Mustafa stepping back on the stage and I had to share this with you guys because it's a very interesting update. This is Hassan um, five weeks out of Orlando and I don't think he was ever in this good shape at five weeks out. So they are definitely doing something different. So in this most muscular, you can see the vascularity in the legs, in the arms, the separation in the chest. I mean, it's starting to show, everything is starting to show, but this would be like his usual two weeks out conditioning. So he's definitely way ahead. And I just hope that they did things right this way, that he's on a lot of calories at this point, and there is more room for him to get more conditioned and he seems very focused and very determined to actually get those glutes in finally and they're starting to look very good as you can see right here at five weeks out they are looking pretty lean like you can see some separation so five weeks is a long time guys for especially for open bodybuilders with this much muscle they can gain they, they can they can shred all this fat and they can look shredded in five weeks and, and i still hope that that's going to be the case with, with hassan for the first time he's going to bring the conditioning and with this kind of freaking round and, and, and dense muscle he's going to be really really dangerous look at this freaking side shot so it's not all illusion with Hassan Mustafa he's actually big he's actually thick you can see that from the side and you can see that he's also very complete the only flaw is uh, the shoulder the shoulder width like structure wise and also the fact that he never really brings the conditioning but this time around it looks like he's on the right path and i hope everything will run smoothly and that he will actually come peeled if he does that that's gonna be one dangerous freaking bodybuilder. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it guys. And for more bodybuilding coverage like this, subscribe to this channel guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye bye.